Love him or hate him, Dr. Phil has undoubtedly helped many people, either through advice, tough love, or financial support. But that's not everyone's experience. In fact, some have even sued him for fraud and other unsavory allegations. These are the guests who claim Dr. Phil ruined their lives. As a cop-turned-murder convict, Lori Bambi Bambenek wasn't exactly living her best life when she agreed to appear on Dr. Phil. Unfortunately, things were about to get worse. According to the Los Angeles Times, Bambenek was given life in prison for killing her ex-husband's first wife in 1981. She then escaped through a laundry room window, became a folk hero of sorts, and reached a deal to serve her remaining sentence on parole. But Bambenek wanted her name cleared and believed Dr. Phil could help. According to the Chicago Tribune, show producers agreed to pay $20,000 to test the DNA evidence in her case. In return, Bambenek would appear on the show to reveal the results. But Bambenek's lawyer, Mary Wooler, told the Los Angeles Times that the living arrangement the show set up for her client was disastrous. The show put her under, quote, constant videotaping and a 24-hour-a-day guard by a former police officer. This claustrophobic setup triggered her. Wooler said, She told them to stop. Then she panicked and tried to get out a window. She fell and severely injured her foot, which has now been amputated. Friend Ira Robbins told the National Enquirer that Bembenek lost more than a foot that day. Since the incident, Lori has not been able to work or support herself. She said many times that she holds Dr. Phil and his producers personally responsible for ruining her life. Worse yet, Bembenek died of liver failure at 52, without having her name cleared. Shelley Duvall, the actress best known for The Shining and Popeye, was clearly struggling with mental health issues when she came on Dr. Phil. Even before the show aired, a 30-second promo for the episode sparked outrage when it spliced together some outlandish comments made by Duvall. I loved Robin Williams. I don't think he's dead. Where do you think he is? Shape-shifting. In response, friends and fans of Duvall called out the apparent exploitation of the former star. The daughter of Stanley Kubrick, the director of The Shining, tweeted an appeal to boycott the episode. Mia Farrow and Ronan Farrow also voiced their displeasure, but McGraw still aired the show. I'm very sick. I need help. Well, that's why I'm here. The episode featured a 45-minute discussion between McGraw and Duvall, after which she was taken to the Creative Care Mental Health Treatment Center in Malibu. According to McGraw, she remained there for three days, but she also refused traditional medicine. The following year, Radar Online reported, Duvall's physical and mental conditions have deteriorated dramatically since her controversial appearance on a TV show in November. Asked by the tabloid about the treatment promised by McGraw, Duvall gave an incoherent statement. Clearly, the daytime ratings giant didn't turn things around for Duvall, who was already on a bad path prior to her appearance. As for Dr. Phil's response to the accusations of exploitation, he likened himself to FDR, quoting the 32nd U.S. president to BuzzFeed by saying, "...the credit goes to the man in the arena, you know, the man that stumbles while striving to do greatly." Sierra Myers was on Dr. Phil because she was underage and soliciting sex from older men online. According to a lawsuit filed by her parents, Terry and David Myers, the teen's problems likely resulted from a traumatic event in which she witnessed the murder of a man with whom she was involved. According to the complaint, Dr. Phil's psychological remedy was to offer free treatment for the daughter at Island View, a Utah punitive behavior modification lockdown facility. Although the suit ended in dismissal, it alleged that Sierra endured a, quote, demented regimen that consisted of mindless tasks of blind obedience enforced by cruel punishment. While in custody, Sierra suffered nerve damage in her arm, which was allegedly irreparably broken during a physical altercation with a math teacher. The suit also stated that Dr. Phil and the staff at Island View should have known that Sierra's traumatic experiences would have made her emotionally vulnerable in the austere conditions at the facility. The suit went on to state that, Dr. Phil has shown himself to be a showman more interested in ratings than a psychologist devoted to healing. Dr. Phil, on information and belief, was paid either in money or notoriety, or both, for endorsing not only Island View, but also a raft of CRC compounds just as abusive. So, which is it? According to Dr. Phil's lawyer, in a response given to the rap, the Myers daughter was at Island View voluntarily, and while McGraw recommended treatment, he did not control it. Island View has since rebranded itself into Elevations RTC. Wonder why? 
Caden Mahaffa appeared on Dr. Phil to be part of the support system for her boyfriend, who was the victim of sexual abuse. During the appearance, however, the focus of the discussion turned on Mahaffa. McGraw questioned her about some of the claims she had made during the pre-interview. Mahaffa was asked about her, quote, savant abilities, which included X-ray vision. Mahaffa also came under scrutiny for, quote, representing herself as a credentialed professional. All this happened while Dr. Phil's audience laughed mockingly at her. Mahaffa told McGraw, that she was, quote, not in a good space right now, and that she felt attacked, but the former psychologist suggested that she was fair game. As Dr. Phil put it to her, No, so you're being questioned because you're making some claims, and if yeah, you make those claims, I'm then right you need to be prepared. Well, you need to be prepared to defend them. According to Mahaffa, the experience sent her mental state into a nosedive backstage. Mahaffa claimed that she, quote, suffered a mental breakdown backstage, according to lawsuit documents obtained by TMZ. The humiliation suffered on stage led to her, quote, collapsing in tears and engaging in erratic behavior. The report states that she began pulling out her hair and shouting, which then led to police being called and her being involuntarily committed to a mental health facility for five days. The suit also suggests that the subsequent online backlash and harassment from Dr. Phil fans caused her to consider taking her own life. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call or chat online with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.